And today, the remains of four U.S. soldiers killed in Afghanistan arriving at Dover Air Force Base. And one of the most disgraceful things our government has ever done, it did not pay for the soldiers' families to travel to Dover to receive those remains. Kara Girard and Army veteran Tim Cook are friends of one of the fallen soldiers. They join us. Good evening to both of you. Hi. Hi. Kara, first to you. I know both of you are friends of the family, um, but tell me, um, what was he like? What was Sergeant uh, Peters like? Honestly, I don't personally know Joe. Uh, we went to high school together, but I am mainly friends with his wife. Um, we've become really close over the past year. Um, we reconnected on Facebook through the cloth diaper community, and all I've ever heard from her was nothing but you know, great things about him and how he took care of his family and he he sounded great from all his wife said. Tim, your thoughts tonight? Um we're just uh we're just trying to help their family out, do what we can. What do you think about the fact that um because of the government shutdown, the government did not pay for the families to travel to Dover? private organization did and has not yet paid the $100,000 uh, death gratuity it's called. What do you think, Kara? Um, you know, I have my own personal thoughts about it and but the, the family did ask that I um, try to steer clear of that conversation and make this main focus about our fundraiser and honoring their, their family member. Well, I guess then let me go to that question about the fundraiser because um, there, I mean, the family, he leaves behind a, what, a 20-month-year-old son? 20-month-old son? Yeah. Yeah, yes. A and a wife. And are they having financial problems or issues or is this, I mean, I, do they have any other form of income? You know, honestly, I don't know. Um, and that's, that's not really for me to say. Um, this all started just, you know, to let my friend know that we're all here for her and that she has so many people that care about her. Whether she financially needed it or not, um, I, I'm sure any family that loses, loses a loved one, you know, it's, I, I'm sure that it hits them hard, you know, financially, emotionally. Well, Karen, Tim, thank you for joining us. And uh, as, you, as you might imagine that uh, we're all very deeply distressed about the 26 lives lost just this month, not to mention all the others. Thank you for joining us.